Okay, today we are going to review the present perfect versus present perfect continuous. We are going to check what are the differences between these two tenses. The first thing that we are going to check is the form of the main verb. As we know in present perfect, we have to identify the difference between regular and irregular verbs. Remember that regular verbs add ed and irregular verbs change the form when we talk about past participle. The form is going to be have, has as auxiliary verb, then the past participle. For the present perfect continuous, we are going to identify a little difference that is after have or has, we are going to have the past participle of the verb to be always. And then the main verb in the ing form. This is the first difference between these two tenses. Remember that the elements that we need to talk about affirmative sentences are subject, then auxiliary verb have has, and then the past participle for the present perfect. For the present perfect continuous, we are going to have similar order, but we have different elements. The subject, the auxiliary verb have has, then the past participle of the verb to be always, we have to say or write this past participle of the verb to be, and then the main verb with an ing form. To form the negative, remember that we only add the particle not after the auxiliary verb have or has. In that order, we have haven't, or hasn't in contraction. As you can see in the slide, we use the same contraction, haven't or hasn't for the present perfect continuous. For the interrogative, remember that we set the verb have or has at the beginning. In the present perfect continuous, we are going to apply the same formula. We are going to write have or has before the subject. To finish with the grammar structure, remember that we have two kinds of possible short answers, affirmative and negative. As you can see, in this comparison of the two Tenses, we have the same short answer in affirmative. We use yes, then the subject, and then the auxiliary have or has. For the negative, we use two, the same for, for the negative, no, subject, have it, or has it. The second characteristic that we are going to identify are the keywords. For the present perfect, we have already, yet, never, ever, just, always, once, twice, three times. How many times? And for the present perfect continuous, all day long, all night long, all morning, how long, a long time ago, since, and for. Now we are going to check the uses and examples. In this per function, you can see that we use the present perfect and the present perfect continuous when we talk about unfinished actions that started in the past and are still true in the present. I've known John for three years. She has been living here for three years. The second use for the present perfect is when we 
talk about how much or how many. She's drunk three cups of coffee this morning. She's drunk at least a little of coffee today. And for the present perfect continuous, it is used to emphasize the length of time that has passed. They've been waiting for hours. This emphasizes the length of time. Finally, we have for the present perfect, this last use. When we, when the action is finished and the result comes from the action being finished, I've eaten dinner, so let's go out. She's done all her homework, so she can relax this evening. I made a cake, would you like some? And for the present perfect continuous, it's used when the result comes from the action itself. It doesn't matter if the whole action is finished or not. I've been eating dinner, so there are plates all over the table. She's been doing her homework, so she's tired. I've been making a cake. That's why the kitchen is such a mess. I want to thank you for watching this presentation. Okay, I don't know if you have any question or comment about the grammar topics that we review in this brief lesson. No? Present perfect. No, teacher. Present perfect continuous. No? No, profe, todo bien. Muy bien. Entonces ponemos en el chat, por favor, este, su nombre y su grupo, por favor. Y como siempre, agradecerle su tiempo y su asistencia a esta clase. Nos estaríamos viendo el próximo sábado. Sí. No se les olvide subir sus actividades al foro, por favor. See you. Bye bye. Have a nice week. Gracias. Sí, teacher. Cuídense mucho. Thank please. you, teacher. Bye. Gracias. Sí. Thank you, teacher. Bye.